Enough is enough. Congress is returning to session, and our first order of business in the Senate should be to pass the House Passed Bipartisan Background Checks Act, H.R. 8. The legislation is the quickest way to make a law that will save American lives. I want to thank my colleagues, Senators Brown and Stabenow, for joining, as well as Representative Escobar of El Paso. President Trump, if you announce your support, we can get something incredible done for the American people. The time to act is now. Mayor Whaley, Mayor of Dayton. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you so much. What courage does it take to support legislation that will save lives? So here we are once again asking the Grim Reaper, informing the Grim Reaper that this bill is, these bills are alive and well in the public, that he, public opinion, public sentiment will weigh in. And as I have said in our meetings across the country, we will make this issue too hot for him to handle. But some of the gun violence prevention groups have made it up the ante even further to say that if, the, if this bill is not passed, Mitch McConnell and the Republicans in the Senate and the President will have hell to pay. So let's save time. Let's just get it done now. Well, good afternoon, and I'm certainly uh, grateful for Leader Schumer and Speaker Pelosi for inviting me here today. If we could just pass a simple vote where nine out of ten Americans agree on it. I don't know anything else that nine out of ten Americans agree on besides H.R. 8. So that's why we're here. I'm here on behalf of the citizens of Dayton who called us that night to do something. This is something that can be done, can be fast, and will save lives on this first day back from our in-district work period. We are going to be unrelenting. We are not going to stop until we deliver the safety that this country deserves and until people in my community know that their government works for them and not the special interest groups. Well, good afternoon, and I'm certainly uh, grateful for leadership.